What the scallop? A 1% planetarium is a little bit disgusting. I don't remember the last time I had a 1% planetarium start. It would be a, a little bit tragic for me if I had this and I did not receive a key. I'm gonna do everything I can to get it going. Or you could just drop it in the first room clear reward. I don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, you're beautiful. And we get tough love. A gigantic item. We're gonna go for luck, definitely. And our first- Oh, oh my god, dude, reverse judgment. <laughs> Okay, all right, we are cooking. Give me this, Terra. Give me the reverse judgment. We gotta find a secret room item. This is going to be incredible. What a god start. Gonna find every crawl space ever known to man with this. That is such an insane combination, no? Like, you got reverse judgment just sitting there. And you got the item that opens every single secret room. So you're just set up for success. A bunch of pills range up. I'm gonna cry immaculately if there's like a I am error room pill here. I'm, I would not be able to do anything there. It might be actual mental break moment. But instead, we got every good pill ever, including a Tears Up and a Pretty Fly. So, uh, this is one of the luckiest starts I've ever had in my life. Let's get it started, dude. Do we want to do this? If I do this, I'm not going to be able to go down floor. But I don't care about alternate floors too much today. I'm kind of vibing. I mainly just want to go up to the chest, because that's the one place I need to go as this character for my dead god progress. So, yeah, I opened it. I got a bunch of- oh my god. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I refuse to believe it. There is also an extra pretty flight. This actually might be one of the greatest first floors I've had in my life. Just give me a bunch of money. Uh, I'm gonna send it. I don't care. Like, you're obviously setting me up here. I, I'm gonna- I'm gonna take the bait. Who cares? Give me something incredible. Here we go. Samson's Chains. Not it. That's okay. Missing. Ooh, man. <laughs> Low-key a little bit tempting. Gotta be honest. But now we got more rules available. Oh! Okay, yeah, this is uh, one of the greatest first floors of my life. I don't understand how or where or why, but this seed is insane. Let's also buy this extra pretty fly, because uh, why the hell not? Should we go for the booster pack? Sure. Watch another reversement spawns. I would lose my mind. How about we two of diamonds ourselves? Buy the soul heart, and then we'll take the stars with us. I know I could also get the eraser, but honestly, with how powerful uh, Epic Fetus is just by itself, I I don't think I need to erase enemies. Now, I'm almost certain that Terra does still work with uh, Epic Fetus as well. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, let's take this mom's pearls. Because Terra is a damage multiplier, uh, depending on how big the rocks are. You can see sometimes when I shoot, the screen does not shake, and sometimes... Hello. Sometimes it does shake, meaning that we do have variable damage uh, occurring sometimes on this run. So I'm certain that Terra is working, so it's not like it's useless. Next floor, where do we go? How about down? Maybe hit a dead end? No, I'm just gonna destroy these enemies as if I'm playing like a Flash Isaac immediate epic fetus speedrun moment. Honestly, sometimes I still boot up that video and put it on the background every now and then. What a legendary video. We got a lot of sick stuff over here, some keys which we'll use to open the treasure room, which will give us glaucoma. I, uh, do I care? I almost don't. It's gonna make the screen darker. Look at this. Did you know it does this? Like, what the hell? Why? <laughs> but whatever. An item is an item. We'll just move on. Uh, actually, I might as well blow up all of these rocks, maybe. A bit of a crawl space, uh, but we'll save the stars for the next floor then. Epic Fetus 1% Planetarium. That is a rare case scenario, dude. That does not just happen. I, I can't even believe it to this point. Like, how do we have this? Uh, how am I currently playing this? It does have an arcade up top. We got a decent amount of cash. More than you usually would have, so I'm thinking maybe a crane game into some god item. Nope, it's pretty useless. That's fine, though. I'll just blow everything up. A swallow penny trinkets. Nice. You know, I did see. I don't think we've done boss rush as this character yet. No, we haven't. You know what? I mean, with an epic fetus run, there is no other time to go fast. Maybe I'll I'll chill on the obstacle destroying moment and instead focus on just trying to hit the boss rush. Get that unlock done as well. That would be really good for us. Let's try and lock it in. Do I need a mega Satan kill? I do. Dude, there's so much we can do actually. Okay, let's skip this devil. Go angels. We're going to try and get so many unlocks. We may even be able to basically complete uh, Tainted Judas this entire time because all I really want to do is go up or down for my dead god unlocks every 
server since my save file got corrupted. So, so if I do this and I don't have to do Mega Satan or Boss Rush, and I've done both the Dark Room and the Chest, I'll com I'll consider it complete. I'm good to go, guys. That's gamer as hell. Hey, check this out. If you have Epic Fetus and you feel like you don't want to wait for Epic Fetus to go off, Pretty Flies actually deal damage to flies. Don't ask me why. That's just a mechanic. But there you go. Shop another one. We get Smelter. Honestly, that's good. Very solid active item, especially when you don't already have one. Let's smelt the swallowed penny and find the super secret room. Is it here? There you go. Uh, I'll still look for most of these. Even if I'm taking time with my obstacle destroying because the secret rooms are really essential. It's interesting here. This super secret room is supposed to have black sacks, but I guess I haven't unlocked them yet. So we'll have to work on that. Is Tainted Judas, is, that, is he the one that unlocks black sacks? I think so. It's either Tainted Eve or Tainted Judas, I'm pretty sure. I always get those two confused between, like, Hellgame or something. Uh, Mom's underwear, obviously very useless. Whatever. Let's go down, skip the devil, go angels. How about we head to the curse room on the first thing next floor, open this up, it's useless, and we'll just stars out. We get a jawbone, which is cool enough. Uh, it's actually pretty useful for us, considering it can grab a lot of different pickups, such as the boomerang. And that's gonna be useful for us, because I have absolutely no flight whatsoever. I will hit up the dice room, and I will reroll all of this money into a bit better pickups, not really. But this, every now and then, I guess, could give me some kind of uh, poison shots, and we'll be able to smelt it. Dude, what an immaculate run. You you know you're dealing mega damage when you got a two-phase enemy like that spider dude and you one-shot them with epic fetus. That is insane. Bible for a one-shot on mom. I know that this file has already unlocked the halo, which you usually get from killing mom with the Bible. I don't know what items I've picked up on this file, and I know that got kind of all messed up as well, so I'm gonna pick up the stopwatch just for posterity, just to know that, hey, you know what? You don't gotta pick it up anymore randomly. Blow up all the mushrooms. This is worth my time, and we got time, you know. We have the ultimate speedrun item in Isaac. This is the speedrun item, unless like Isaac speedrunning meta has changed over the years, which I wouldn't know that much about, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Like I, I don't see any other item out doing epic fetus when it comes to playing Isaac fast. So even if we do slow down, the reason Epic Fetus is of course good is because we could be like, oh wow, I hate this room. Uh, bye. <laughs> There's Pinky Eye choosing to uh, finally show its face after maybe 13 shots being shot. It's not impossible. I don't think it's going to be that useful, but who knows? Maybe that will be the difference maker between killing a boss and not at some point during this run. Spoiler alert. It won't. <laughs> One last room to check on here. It is the super secret room of the soul heart. Wow, we are straight vibing. Nothing can handle our powerful prowess at this point. I am demolishing the game. Goodbye to pestilence. You're literally, by definition, going to explode. I got perfection? Don't mind if I do. And an extra orbital will complete our trifecta. Let's go down. Flooded caves, eh? You know I love to be here. I might as well spell perfection, I guess. Oh my god, I almost instantly lost it. Smell to perfection is pretty useless, but it does free up the trinket slot. Maybe we can find one more. You know, I haven't even used Dark Arts, actually. I went inside of the curse room and took the damage without even, like, <laughs> avoiding the damage of Dark Arts. I forgot I'm playing Tainted Judas. I just got such a god run. Is it even necessary? I guess I might as well. I'm gonna use it more defensively, though. Not to, like, get damage, you know? It's more like, oh my god, there's a bullet. Oh! Still looking for gongo items, though. It's not over just because we have Epic Fetus. The more damage we have, the better we're gonna scale. And the better we scale, the more we can just absolutely one-shot even more endgame bosses because as we go along these bosses that we're gonna fight they won't be as one shot i mean you saw that pestilence it took three shots that could very well be a factor in the coming future and i don't want to lose my perfection whatsoever if we can take this thing all the way to the chest i think we'll be sitting pretty dude here we go boom holy epic fetus it feels good to have an epic fetus run every now and then too like we do not get to use this item a lot so whenever we get an excuse to find it and use it, which is usually whenever we find it very early on the run, which definitely happened, I'm always happy that it happens, you know? Restock into what do we got here? Oh, yes, definitely. More restock, boomerang. I literally have the passive version of boomerang, as I mentioned. Uh, let's blow it up. Maybe a good item. Mr. Me. Oh my, wait a second. I do not mind if I do. This can open uh, the Mega Satan door. And then maybe I can also just steal the tarot cloth because I'm a little sneaky. 
beef. Okay, never man. Maybe I still can, but not on the first try. Yeah, this opens Mega Satan door. We are just getting everything we want. Now, all I gotta do is hurry the hell up. Oh my god. I got five minutes for two floors. What am I doing messing around over here? I don't gotta be here. But these mushrooms are just so juicy. What if one of them has magic mushroom? You think I just wanna leave it behind? I would mentally crack if I knew deep down inside one of them had magic mushroom and I missed out on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy the terra cloth by default. And then I'm gonna speed run the next two floors with epic fetus probably just bombing through some doors to make sure we can get through it and we'll handle a uh, boss rush very effectively who are we fighting oh my god gertie G gertie with the slowdown is done we even got a tinted rock for free and there's an angel which i don't need anymore but sacred heart is not gonna i'm not gonna say it's not welcome we didn't get it but we got dead dove I'll, I'll commit to beating this guy very quickly. I, I have time, I'm pretty sure. Two minutes per floor is fine. Dime was worth it. I just wanted that key piece so we get more angels. Okay, speedrunner moment, let's go. Gotta hit the PB. Gotta have fast as hell splits. I'm not about to reset my run and get sent back all the way back to Womps. I refuse. Also, I'm gonna optimize a little bit here and just remember that I can use Dark Arts. In fact, Dark Arts does give a speed boost. So while I'm traversing along like this, I should probably go ahead and try and use it. Or like use it to like finish off smaller enemies like this. Never mind. That's a terrible idea. Go ahead and never do that. If you're in a position that I'm in right now, learn from me. Don't do it. I mean, it's not even one shot in the guys. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> That's okay. We'll find a, a better trinket. It's no big deal. Okay, that's nice. I like the idea of us finding all the special rooms on our way to the boss. Continuum really doesn't matter, but it does work. It doesn't work. This game sucks. I don't see a reason why it shouldn't work, but it doesn't. <laughs> I guess it also doesn't matter, because why would you ever care about it working? You know, I mean, if we manage to get some kind of uh, tier effect that we can't usually use, uh, then the range will affect us. So that's uh, something to look forward to. But the thing that I want the most is where the hell is the boss room? I do have to complete this room, unfortunately. I can't just bomb out because I want to go to the shop. Yo, what it do, gamer? Sack? So, oh, wait a second. Sackhead or Pandora? I don't really got time. Whatever. I, I, I can't take Pandora, can I? Because I need Mr. Me. All right, Sackhead it is. Let's go. Oh, dude, worms are the worst with Epic Fetus because you gotta like time your bomb. And if you miss time your bomb, then you're off cycle. There you go. Dude, this is what I'm saying. I'm off cycle. Oh, stop, man. <laughs> You're one millisecond off, and then you can no longer kill that guy. It's terrible. Oh, wow. Hello. Uh, I don't care about this too much. I got a minute and a half. Are you kidding me? This is why I don't go for boss rush anymore, dude. It just takes way too long. I don't even really got that much boss killing damage. I need more. Hurry the hell up. We gotta go. Tears up is useless. Jesus. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Nothing but bombing through rooms at this point, I think. Unless I find a special room along my way. Well, here we go. <laughs> then I'll take advantage of it. I love the slowdown here. Made it so I could one-shot all those guys who get little monstro. I will probably never use this guy. But, you know, happy to have you. You look real cute. You and your little snaggle too. Appreciate you. Let's head out of here. Yeah, as if I'm waiting for mom hands. Excuse me, I definitely bombed that door. <laughs> Oh, do I full clear this just for the shop? I doubt it's worth it, man. What the hell am I doing? I'm throwing. Why? Why did you wait? Did you see that? That was malicious from the worm. He actually waited so he would bone over my epic fetus. And it was just greed. God damn it. Please be the way of the boss. Please, 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 please. I'm begging. Oh my god. I actually messed up, guys. This is a horrific turn of events. I, I will take self-damage, please. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. Oh, I don't got the damage! I don't have the damage for this! I can't believe it, Epic Fetus, you failed me. Oh, it hurts! My heart! I loved her! Oh, okay, well, we'll go up. Not a big deal. Boss Rush, again, was not actually on my priority list of things I wanted to do. It's just chest and dark room. I'll get the body. Sure, why not? And now we can take our time, full clear, and uh, actually rig the game. I mean, we rigged the game within 30 seconds, so... <laughs> Take a room right off the bat, we get a sack, and I'll blow you up, maybe I get a better angel. These angels have been, uh, mildly okay. I like the flight that we got, that's definitely good. But the body is, uh, definitely not on my priority list. I'm looking for the big stuff. I really want damage, because if you couldn't tell, my damage with Epic Fetus is actually genuinely low. I, I only have, actually... Terra and Champions though. If I didn't have Epic Fetus with this run, this would actually not be that incredible. I'm being hard carried by this item, which is probably the reason it gave me it so early on. 
You know, to make up for my lack of boss rush, I could go Hush. I have not fought Hush in a while because I've been min-maxing floors instead. And since we have uh, gone very fast with uh, no fruits to show, we could instead use the time that we have saved and, and put it more to good use. Let's go to Hush. And maybe that Hush floor has the god item we were waiting for. Matriarch fight? Don't mind if I do. If you do anything, I'm pressing Q. Oh, oh, look at that. You did something. Here I go. Let me gain more damage, and then I'll one-shot the Chubberton, and then the rest of this will all go down. I, You know, I'll say it. The pinky eye smell with the random-ass poison every now and then, it actually has come to use. I will no longer disrespect that. It's very impressive. Doing good on our dead god progress, by the way. Feeling real nice. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That this video will, ah, that this video will come out while I'm at Evo. I'll be playing Tekken 4 fun, playing in the offline Sage Am Slam, the recap, the redo, Jag Jesus in the business. So you know, if you're at Evo, uh, just let me know and say hi, cause I'd love to say hi, dude. It'd be nice to meet you. Come up, why not, dude? I'm probably just chilling out and uh, hanging out, playing fighting games and, and playing video games in general. That's the real goal of life to just video gamer <laughs> same thing as twitchcon you know when i was at twitchcon i was like you know what just come say hi you know why not i appreciate you guys so much i love you guys you literally are my family and i appreciate you so much and i could not ask for better people to be with so just say hi dude i would i would love to meet you we got an arcade in here i'm gonna do two because i got a good feeling i really want to know what you're selling did i do that for free oh i got the polaroid proc but it's just hard to tell one more okay one more one more because again i got the polaroid pretty please okay never mind i'm out of here whoa 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 those guys are disgusting. I feel like if you ever find a rainbow champ in your game, there's honestly a good chance that you'll get hit. Those guys are terrifying. They got a stupid amount of HP and they suck you in and they do some weirdo stuff. Like, I don't blame you if you're on a tainted loss run and, and you lose your run to them. I'm also realizing that the reason I did so little damage to mom and I felt like I could have probably beaten her a lot faster, but I didn't is because of my Terra varying damage. I've seen so many times during this run now, times where I absolutely demolish and one-shot a boss, and times where, like, uh, it takes a lot longer than I'm expecting. <laughs> this Terra has actually boned me over. It's fine though, it's chill. We made it to it lives just on time. We got three minutes to spare, and I'm mad happy about where we are. See, now I did half damage to it lives. Now check this out, hold on. Next time I shoot her, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. check it, check it. Okay, that was that was still a lot of damage to be fair. But that was that was even less! I did basically half her HP the first one. Dude, Terra has mentally cracked me. I can't believe this. Please be a good angel. That's honestly decent. I I I don't mind it. We do have Mr. Me, but I guess I might as well grab the other key piece. That did nothing. That actually did nothing. <laughs> are you kidding me? I need damage. Epic fetus, you are letting me down. That did a good amount. Yeah, I'm starting to see the flaws in the run. Maybe this hush can give us a lot of good stuff. Stage question mark question mark question mark we'll have polyphemus I just know it hit me with that fat eves mascara I swear to god I'll scream ooh d20 well it is better than mr me considering I already got the keys and what about in here curse of the tower I genuinely think this is way 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 more fun than anything else that the the kidney being could have provided d20 will go hard on the chest if we find any kind of pickups so we'll just change them into chests those turn into items could be a large gargantuan rigging moment for all of us combined. Snuggle up guys because I have a feeling this is gonna go real hard. What is all of this? Uh, Magic 8 Ball's kinda ass. It's a little too late. I already got the 1% the planetarium right off the bat so I don't need any of that. But we have a Justice with Tarot Cloth. We can use that on the chest, spawn a bunch of pickups, and then roll them into, you know, just a bunch of different chests. So this is good. Fanny pack as well. Range up is useless, but I like the sound it makes, so give me. And let's go defeat Hush real quick. Now, this is a very bullet hell heavy boss, so in order to speed it up and give us more damage, because that is the weak point of the run, I'm gonna do this. So, we, you know, every now and then I can at least get like a plus two damage up, and that'll affect me just a smidge. Especially when Hush actually spawns literal enemies like those flies and stuff. Oh, Dark Arts will go crazy. Dude, big ups to these orbitals. Look at this. I could just face tank anything. Oh, well, not that. <laughs> but face tank a lot of things, and it's really hard for me to get hit. Triple orbitals, just, it does way too much for your game, man. You really don't even need to try and dodge sometimes. These bullets just disappear. I just noticed when we're sitting in this hallowed ground as well, we are getting homing, which is funny. I don't even really need to move the reticle that much. 
Dude, the orbitals are crazy. <laughs> I'm just tanking them. Oh, oh, is that me being invincible? I should not have taunted him. Well, that should be the hush fight done. Goodbye. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought I could kill him before those hush lasers hit me. That's fine. Let's go up and finish up the run. Big unlocks today. Where are we going? Curse of the Blind? Thank God you gave me Curse of the Blind now. In terms of Isaac rules, that means that you- There's no way. There's absolutely no way you will give me Curse of the Blind on the chest. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. You can't do this to me. Don't you dare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cross space. The first one, okay, I'm down. What you got? A chest. Wait, I guess I might as well do this. Oh my goodness, a dime, hooray. Yeah, we're really cooking now. Here's our Isaac fight, should be easy enough. We still got the uh, Tarot Cloth Justice available, so I'm excited to use that. Wait for Isaac to descend from the heavens, there you are, buddy. I'm just gonna freeze you real quick, and get my damage in. There you go. One final shot, nice. Bit of APM maximization there, another one. And probably one final one, also Curse of the Tower themselves just killed that guy so easily. Let's go to the chest, this is gonna be huge. Alright, we are looking for chests. Come on! Well, first I should open these, to be fair. Oh my god, technology, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Bookworm might proc, you know, I don't know, maybe. Uh, and then this is really good if you have high damage, which I don't, but maybe we will on the rest of the floor. You never know what kind of items we'll get. Uh, maybe this is us foretelling us. Oh, there you go! That we will end up getting a lot of different uh, damage ups. Give me the holy water. Let's move forward. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I love to see this. This is really good. We just needed these synergies, man. Oh, and chest incoming with bookworm. You'll love to see it. In fact, hold on. We could do something like this. It's minimal, but <laughs> it matters. <laughs> Hey, you see this giant circle, by the way? Some of you don't know this. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of an Isaac tidbit. This is supposed to be Isaac's giant freaking head. I know, bulbous as ever. That's some lore stuff right there. There you go. Now I'm doing damage. Because we got the combination of tech and parasite on top of the epic fetus. Not just epic fetus base damage. Sometimes it's high because of Terra. There you go. How about we hit another reroll? A couple more chests. You'll love to see it. We get Ankh, which I don't care about too much, but I'll take because I might as well. And then a Pinking Shears. I'd love to get a D6 or something, but it's seeming pretty rare to get that. That's just kind of like a bit of a pipe dream, I think. Could happen though. Oh wow, Safety Scissors back there. Hold on. I could definitely abuse that. And we got more pickups in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some stuff we can do. Let's take the Safety Scissors and then grab this double wheel of fortune. This is feeling like a cobalt streak type of rig. Some classic stuff happening here. Let's spawn as many as we can, whatever we can. Yeah, this is looking great. Crystal ball as well. Yeah, sure. Usually spawns a pickup, nice. Let's go again, except on here. Is that it? That seems to be it. Okay, that's pretty good. Safety scissors, and then plop this down. And now we can actually start rolling this room, which is crazy. We don't need anything else. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's use the higher fit. Yeah, I'm actually just rigging the game now. This is a classic rig. I love this. Judgment as well. Plop them down. Let's blow them up for some more pickups. You love to see it. Let's send it. What, what is this card again? Ace of diamonds. How about we take this with us, actually, and then we... Hold the phone. Wait a second. Can I damage myself? No, I was about to say. Damage myself for Curse of the Tower and then Safety Scissors? That would have been nasty. If I can't do that, I'm gonna just uh, keep the Charge Penny because this could be better, honestly. Let's roll it. Get more chest. Nice. Tech zero. Okay. Hey, man, I'm just going to show. No matter how early of a lucky run that we have, no matter how dire it could be, I can just rig it. Oh, wow, D7. Now, we don't have rerolls, so I'm just going to end up taking whatever we get, but I'm happy to take it. Bucket of lard. Maybe not as much that one. Plop open the sacks for more pickups. What do we want to do here? How about we ace of diamonds? Any big pickups? Yeah, some nickels. You never know when that could be useful. We could do something silly, like we, uh, we D7, and then we pick up the D20, and then we redo the room. You know, like, like, why not? Get an extra charge. That wasn't as hype as I was thinking it was gonna be, to be honest with you. But whatever! Our health is getting low. I might be trolling, but I'm having fun, so let's, let's do it. There was a secret room here. More pickups in here. I guess I'll, you know, blast it open, because why not? I might come back in here, but probably not. D20 about to go mega hard right now. Just continue to destroy all these enemies. The tech zero we got is not working, but we might be able to get tears later down the line. So don't count them out just yet. Another roll. There is a chest in here. 
What was this card? A death card that's useless. I think I'll just go for the, whatever this is. Ah, uh, Aquarius. That's okay. Thank you. And now let's just continue to destroy the chest with our insane amount of damage. Oh, soul heart. Don't mind if I do. Appreciate it. Very lucky as well because we only need the Mega Satan kill. Of course, like I've said, the marks don't matter too much. But all I'm mentioning this for is the fact that we don't need a Delirium kill. So whether or not he even shows up, I don't even have to worry about it. I just want to rig the game as much as possible and defeat that giant skull guy. Probably, most likely, going to be our last D20 roll here. It felt nice to have a D20 roll type thing. I don't get to do this too often. We did not actually get anything good. <laughs> but we got a mini battery. Hold up. Let him cook. We might be able to get one more. We have four rooms left. They just gotta have enemies in them. Oh, dude. If that was a freaking Perthro, I was about to lose my mind. That was almost too good to be true. I, I, I felt the silence within the world. It's like time stopped. Time froze in that moment as I approached it slowly. Everyone knew, like, dude, this could be the one. It wasn't, but yeah, it's still cool. We got a sloth here, so maybe a card. That's good. Nope, it's actually Bob's Rotten Head. What we get are unlock, hello. Far more significant damage now, you love to see it. Give me that fat kill. In fact, it's super slowed down because of broken stopwatch. One more roll and a super secret room, and then let's defeat Mega Satan. Hello? Oh, wow. Hello. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna need keys for that, to be fair. I, I, I gave away a little bit too much, but I could probably get keys right here. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. I need three total. And then roll. There you go. A couple more chests. We got hot bombs. Hey, that works. Bit more hourglass. And then hold on, hold on. Wait a second. I used the ace of diamonds in here. And then I somehow managed to get enough charges from the charge penny to get another roll. Could you imagine if I cooked just then? That would have been insane. I'll take the large for safety. Uh, and then we'll open those last three chests. Okay, nice. Also common cold, and also- OH MY- Blast resistance with the epic fetus. Now that is thematic as hell. May as well take the dead bird with me. I saw one final coin here. Imagine if this gives me the charge. Okay, dude. Literally, very, very, very almost. <laughs> Last coins of the whole floor. This is the reason I picked up the charged penny before I did anything. Now, I'm gonna take this pill and go ahead and plop it in here. One final pill to plop down here. I brought everything to this little location and we don't get a chest out of it. <laughs> Alright, but you can't say I didn't push it to its limit. That was really cool anyway. Finally, a Mega Satan fight. What's up? This should pose no threat whatsoever. Our damage is not that incredible, but we will be taking advantage of our technology parasite most definitely. So I don't see any way that this guy defeats me. I just need to dodge fairly decently and I'll be able to win. Super Envy is going to be probably the most annoying here, but the technology makes up for it as well. If I just had <laughs> just regular Epic Fetus, that would have been an ass wave, but we are good. Four waves of mini bosses right here, I would argue is one of the hardest things for the Mega Satan fight, but Epic Fetus just clears. Now it's time for Double Angel. No problemo there. And finally, it's time for Mega Satan 2. Who should not last whatsoever? Why are you still alive? Get out of here, dude. And I think overall, that should be it. Mega Satan stands no chance. Dead God is on its way. We are almost there. Get freaking hype, dude. I hope that if you're snacking on something, whatever you're snacking on was freaking delicious. If you're falling asleep, I hope you have great dreams. If you're on a lunch break, uh, go, go ahead back to work and just crank out those last hours. I know you got it, dude. No matter what you're doing, just I hope you just keep on gaming on. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And also, hey, if you're at EVO, come say hi to me. I'm probably somewhere there. I'm probably wearing some kind of Isaac shirt. And that should be it. GG's!